Question 29, we've got this curve, y equals x squared minus 8x plus 10. The point P has coordinates 3 minus 5 and lies on C. Find the equations in the normal. So, you know, you, again, you're looking at working out your dy dx. So that's 2x minus 8. Okay, so at 3 minus 5, dy dx will equal 2. The x value is 3. This becomes 6, take away 8. This becomes minus 2. That is the gradient, of course, of the tangent. Right, and just like before, once you've got the gradient of the tangent, you can get the gradient of the normal. So m1, m2 equals minus 1. So the tangent is minus 2. So m2 then will equal minus 1 over minus 2. So of course m2 then will equal a half. So that's the gradient of the normal. And the equation then of the normal at this point using your straight line equation y is minus 5 gradient to half x is 3 so 2 minus is make a plus take the 2 over the other side so we have 2y plus 10 equals x minus 3 so then 2y will equal x minus 13 Part B, look at part B, what does it say? Um, so point Q lies on C, such that the tangent C at Q has equation Y equals 4X plus C, where C is a constant. Find the coordinates of Q and find the value of C. All right, so what we need to remember here, if you remember from GCSE work, okay, you would just study something called y equals mx plus c. The m represents the gradient, and the c simply represents where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so that's the y-intercept. But the m is the gradient. So straight away from here, you know that dy dx is equal to 4. Okay, straight away. Okay, dy dx is equal to 4. Of course, we've already worked out dy dx up here. So you can say... At this point Q, dy dx is equal to 4. Okay. Simply because the tangent is 4, has gradient 4. Okay. So the tangent at that particular point at Q, gradient of it is 4, which means the gradient of the curve at Q is also 4. So dy dx is equal to 4. So dy dx is 2x minus 8 which is equal to 4, so that means then 2x will equal 12, which means x is equal to 6. Okay, now they ask for the coordinates, so we've got x to equal 6, we just need to work out y now. Okay, so in order to work out y, you sub in to the, the curve. Okay, so there's your curve in the question. So, 6 squared, sub the value of x in. Take away 8 times 6 plus 10. Take your time, that's 36, that's 48, that's 10, so y comes out to be minus 2. Okay, so the coordinates are 6 minus 2, that's the coordinates of q. To work out c then, of course, don't forget you have got this, so we can sub in, because the, these points here, this point q here, lies on the curve and also lies on the tangent, we can sub this in to the tangent equation. So y is minus 2, x is 6. Okay, and you can get your c there from there. So minus 2 equals 24 plus c, which implies c is equal to minus 26.